Hi friends, uh, welcome back to wordy.tv, um, which is just a site giving a few hints, tips and opinions, I guess, about how to use WordPress uh, blogging platform, which is basically a website in a box and uh, very easy to use. And there is literally a boatload of information about it on the internet and also on YouTube such as uh, this screencast. Uh, now recently um, Google have announced that they're going to uh, penalize websites that are not mobile friendly. So what we need to do is, in other words, uh, that means that your website, the front page, does possibly, does possibly not come up as a full page when someone accesses it on a um, tablet or perhaps a smartphone. They may only get a section and have to scroll across instead of just up and down. So what we need to do is we, we need to add a plugin. And this plugin is uh, basically supported by WordPress.com itself, which is very handy and there is a strong uh, trust element because of that. So we're going to click on Add New. And this actually comes up before you even do a search over here. So I might have searched Excuse me. I might have searched in um, mobile uh, website, responsive website, uh, mobile themes. There are a couple of options, but it, I uh, already know that it is within uh, this uh, plugin here. So what we do is we install. OK. And it's downloading the install package, which gives me half a second to sip my cup of tea. Which is um, quite tasty. Come on, here we go. Installing the plugin. Nearly there. Nearly there. And here we go. Activate plugin. So, alright, so now it's installed. We will activate it. And because this plugin is associated with uh, WordPress itself, um, what we need to do is we will need to connect to WordPress. This um, Ask Your Met account, uh, I thought I'd already done that, but basically it uh, gets rid of comment spam like what I've got here. And uh, it detects what is crap comments, people that are just leaving comments to try and get a link on your site. So I'll get back to that another time. It's very simple. You literally click on it. And if you don't have an account, you open up an account. They give you a key that you put in. And then uh, your Ask Met is uh, activated. And it gets rid of um, comments that perhaps take up too much of your time moderating. But we're not here for that. We're here to make this website smallbusiness.net.au uh, uh, we're here to make this mobile friendly so we're going to connect to wordpress.com I'm actually already logged in so um, this will streamline the video just a little bit quicker and here we go uh, Jetpack wants to connect uh, user small which is my, my admin name at smallbusiness.net.au uh, to WordPress and I authorise it it's as simple as that. Uh, if I wasn't signed in, it would offer um, an option to sign in or to open an account with WordPress.com. But as I said, I already have one. I'm already logged in. So I'm simply just going to authorize Jetpack. And there we go. You're fueled up and ready to go. Jetpack is A-OK. -okay. All right, let's hit settings. Um, just as you can see there there are many many different options that come with this plugin and to be honest I am still learning a lot about it so we're only here for one thing at this very point of time and that is to make the website this WordPress website um, a mobile theme activate okay mobile theme activated so here we go now that sounds pretty cool and what we're going to do is, we'll just go back to the front page and um, according to theory, if I um, was looking at this on a mobile phone, I'm not, I'm looking at it on my laptop, uh, the website would come up as a full page on the mobile phone. Now I'm just going to copy and paste into uh, this page here, which if you have a look up here, 
www.google.com webmasters slash tools slash mobile dash friendly slash and then URL which was health to before but forget that bit just have this part here and you can uh, this will get you to um, a place where you can test your website so okay let's paste in the page now we just did the um, the plugin we activated the mobile theme now we're going to analyze it and there's not much on that website so it should do it pretty quick actually and in a perfect world it will come up as uh, mobile friendly and Google will not penalize me because my site is no longer modern because many people um, access websites via their smartphones and what have you and here we go awesome this page is mobile friendly now that has just helped me a real lot because now in Google's eyes I am or I should say this website is now considered mobile friendly and it wasn't hard so dashboard down to plugins, add new, and with and here you would click the install. And then, as I showed you, once installed, we went to WordPress.com. We authorized Jetpack to um, sync sync up with the site, and uh, now it's part of um, the way this website runs. And the main thing is, it's now mobile friendly. And there are many, many more features that we can um, access using Jetpack. And um, look, as I said, this website basically has nothing on it. But yeah, see this little line here, it actually tells you how many views over the last 48 hours. And you can click to get the site stats. And I'm not expecting any views because basically it's just a front page with a few ebooks at the moment and um, I haven't put much work into it but the purpose of it all was to learn how to use a plugin to make our WordPress website mobile friendly and um, that's the end of this little screencast and I hope it helps you because that is the modern world now we do need to make our websites mobile friendly or Google will penalize us and we don't want that. So I'll leave it at that and say thank you for your time. And uh, thanks for um, watching the video. And consider looking at more video tutorials about WordPress at wordy.tv. Cheers.